بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد fasting encourages us to be patient fasting is a means for us to avoid sin to be have sabr sabr by being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sabr to avoid the, the sins by avoiding the sins and by doing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which are also ways to encourage taqwa so by being patient that's a form of taqwa and as we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated the fasting so that way we would have taqwa by being patient and fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala patient upon our food and drink by restraining ourselves we encourage taqwa and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمِ كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمْ سِيَامِ كَمَا كُتِبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those who came before you in order that you would gain God-fearfulness, meaning that you would gain taqwa. And taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you gain the fruits of paradise, bidnillah ta'ala. And as we witness, mashallah tabarakallah, this creation, how beautiful it is. This is these are like gardens full of beauty. However, this is nothing compared to Jannah, these signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to use these signs in order to reflect upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and benefit. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with tabar ala sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.